Well, we're back and got the Camaro finally in the shop. Uh, I couldn't get the crank back up uh, last time I messed with it. It just won't turn over with the key. Uh, I don't know if there's a loose connection at the starter or the relay is bad. Um, but I was able to get it in reverse when it was running. But by the time I got ready to go forward with it, it just cut off. So we just pushed it in. But this thing is really hard to push. Like right now, it's in neutral. Uh, and um, I can't even pull it with my hand. It is just solid as a rock. So something is locked up on the brakes. I'm suspecting the rear brakes, uh, the mercy brake cable. Uh, when you push down <coughs> on the pedal right here, I mean, it's, it's stiff and it don't spring back. So I'm thinking there's something up with the mercy brakes. Maybe at one time somebody pushed them down and uh, it just didn't return at the wheels. I already went up under there and took all the slack out of the cable and um it's still i mean it will not budge so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop the wheels off the back and i'm going to uh try and get the drums off and take the slack adjustment out of the brake shoes and see if the cables are frozen up um if so might have to get the new cables for it i don't know if oiling them might work uh but I am going to uh, try and save them if I can. But right now I'm more concerned about let's get it where it will move. And then I'm going to go under the hood and we're going to mess around up under there and see if we can uh, uh, see anything uh, with this uh, original motor. It's like compression and size of oil on the plug, stuff like that. So let me get these wheels off and um, We'll see if we can get these drums loose and get this thing where it rolls. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and jack it up. Now, 35 degrees outside, so I'm probably going to be cranking the heater back up. I think the cables are look like they were new. Yeah. I do see some. Look like it has fuel leaks. Fuel lines leaking. Look at that. Bad gas dripping out of it. I got a clamp on that end, but not on this end. So, you can see what's been dripping right there. But, looking at that, these cables have been replaced. It looks shiny new, so they've been replaced before. Maybe the brakes are adjusted out too far. But the wheel cylinders and everything, uh, 
They're new. So, I guess we can take some of the adjustment out. Well, let's put more adjustment on there. Let's go to the other side and pop that wheel off. brake dust in there, you can tell that it's been drove with the brake on. Now this side here, wheel still, well brakes look new. The cable's nice and shiny down in there though. One of them is definitely hung up or they're adjusted out too far. Right now we're going to take some of the slack out of it. Yes. Should have a slack adjuster. Let me get a better light, then we can see the whole thing. So I was able to try 
try and get the light to where I can see. Um, Although the front, uh, the front table is froze.
gotta roll real easy now. Might even come in just a little bit. That's how it's actually adjusted all the way here. That one turned smooth. Looks like they got some kind of fuel line rig up. Too big a fuel line rig up here. And I bet you the other side is why it's not getting the right fuel up there. So, uh, what we're going to do now is get the wheels back on it. Then I'm going to get it pushed back and uh, we'll go up under the hood of this thing and see what's up. So I got her jacked up. Uh, I'm going to try and find out why it won't crank by the key. Um, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It just click. Uh, kind of mysterious thing I looked at was this relay right here. It says start on it. So I don't know if that's the starter relay. I tried pushing down on the inside of it and uh it didn't do anything so i don't know is that for the windshield wipers or what uh ain't too familiar with that but uh i'm gonna slide up under here and look at the starter wires let's see what the starter wire look like somebody's been uh messing around with them Got some connectors on there. Hmm. See, there's a small wire on the cylinder. I'm trying to get y'all a good angle. Small wire there. Looks like you got some tape or something on it. So, try and get the light up there. Move some of this stuff around. Come on, block it. I got my other light. But, uh, I'm trying to move some of these wires around a little bit. I've got rust coming down everywhere off the pipe. Let's see, move some of these. I'm just going to move with the flashlight. Move this little small wire first. Jiggle them a little bit. Let's go see what it did. Mike did something, I don't know. <laughs> but we do know if it turns over, uh, it has a bad connection at the starter. So, Aha! That tells you something. One of those wires where they crimp the connector zone, it's uh, loose. Probably the main solenoid wire, the little small wire. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up under there and take them off, clean them, uh, check them, make sure they ain't broken inside those connectors and put another end on that small wire and uh, for the solenoid and then where I'd be able to snatch the plugs out and uh, perform a compression test. So let me get that going on. So after checking all the wires, I found that uh, the small wire on the solenoid was the problem. So what I did, I just put a new connector on the end of it. Uh, these other wires were okay that one right there the big cable's been touching the manifold so i moved it down a little bit which i pulled the engine out i'm gonna straighten all that out anyway have it looking all nice and neat but for right now i just want to get it where it turn over by the key compression clips so hook the battery cable back up Make sure it still turns over. Uh, 
There we go. So we're good on that. So next is going to be getting the plugs out and uh, let's get this compression test over with. See what the plugs look like. They got any oil on them, oil foul, or uh, low compression on cylinders. Well, I took all the spar plugs out, and this is what I found. These things are really, really fouled out. I mean, they got oil all over each one of them. So it's not even worth doing a compression test. This engine needs to be rebuilt, as you can see. That one's got oil on it, that's the driver's side. That one's really got some oil on it. So it's been burning oil. So this engine just needs to come out, no doubt about it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull that engine out. And we're going to put this engine in. The only thing about this engine is numbers matching, but hey, it's better to have a good engine than no engine. <laughs> but I don't think it really matters on this thing anyway. I mean, unless unless he wants to keep it numbers matching, but these days they're doing all these LS swaps and everything. Not too many people really care about numbers matching anymore. So. But this is the original engine. It's still got all the little mission stuff on it. My battery's getting low, by the way. And uh, it's got the original two barrel. As of right here, it says 350. Trying to get a good glance at it. 350, 400, two barrel. So, so anyway, we're going to get this thing ready get the engine out and get the new engine in and uh i'll get back with y'all so just stay tuned and uh thanks again for all the new subscribers that subscribed uh last couple of days uh just keep keep watching keep liking and sharing it's more to come